So that's it. Everything went dark as my life flashed backwards before my eyes. Relationships, episode 100. My friends, patriotism, faces, pictures. My life in comedy at TCTV and before. Modeling, my dad, my mom. Growing up, Jersey, my youth, my parents' honeymoon, my childhood flashing back before ordinarily I would even remember but there it was my infancy feeding sleeping and my birth So this is the afterlife. It looks a lot like Torrance Beach, but it feels like Miami Vice. In the afterlife, maybe I can be Crockett. Maybe I can solve crimes. Maybe I can save the day. In the afterlife. Yeah, that's Hopkins, all right. You will be barely missed. Don't you mean sorely missed? No. Well, um, it's gonna be nice not having to hear that stupid theme song over and over again. I think it plays like five times a day. And get stuck in your head. And it's gonna be nice not having to look at the screen and watch him go. <laughs> His shows are one minute long, but he has these like three minute long intros and three minute long endings that just create a five minute show. <laughs> that sounds really dumb because I I didn't do the math right. <laughs> I'm edumacated. <laughs> well, I guess the biggest thing is the fact that I can't complain to his face when I think that he's completely wasted our time of putting another 20-minute show on the air that's got a five-minute intro and a five-minute outro and only five minutes of actual content. And uh, I used to be able to tell him to his face, you know, uh, Mark Hopkins, you're an idiot. But now I can't, and uh, I'll have to go to his grave, I guess, and have my dog defecate on it. He definitely had a thing for um, keeping too clean, his OCD. I guess that's something I'd really miss, that, you know, now he's gone, I mean, he, he cleaned our carpet like seven times for hours and hours and hours trying to get the spots out. And he did. The problem is, is his carpet's really thin, so the stain came right back. So, of course, Mark Hopkins would come back cleaning the floor. And it was free, so. So even though Mark's gone in the physical world here, he's left enough programs behind that we'll be watching his show on TV and tortured by it for the next four years. Till 2010. Well, Mark Hopkins is finally gone. That's a good thing. My bowel movements are a lot better since I'm not drinking that Madrona Marsh anymore. Ooh, not Mark Hopkins. It's that unfunny bastard. Well, you know, it's not a great loss anyway. Mark Hopkins, he was a DJ after all. Dime a dozen out there. My uncle Julio, he's a janitor. 
All you need to do is get him a case of beer. He'll DJ your wedding. That's all.